Right, so here's Let It Be by the Beatles. A very piano driven song. However, there are lots of other keyboard instruments involved like the piano, the electric piano, the organ which happens. So the song is roughly divided into three sections, right? The intro, which is also the same thing you're going to play for the verse and also the same thing which you're going to play for the guitar solo. Even though those are different sections, the part you're going to play is pretty much the same. The intro will be without singing. singing is pretty much the same thing I find myself in times of trouble mother Mary comes to me and so on and then the same thing with the guitar solo whatever the guitar is plays and then you have the chorus where he just goes let it be let it be like a lot of times let it be let it be let it be let it be and then there's a very cool bridge section where he plays so the way I've written it in your uh, sheet or in your note note sheet will be anything in the black color indicates chords as you can see here these are all chords anything with a purple color indicates a melodic part or a rhythm which I've notated using staff and anything in the red color indicates something to do with the bass line for example here you have F E D C B flat A G F C this is your bass and also I've added it to add some passing bass like before the chorus you go to A minor so let it be let it be so you have that b coming there and then find myself in times so you have here and there some passing notes and i'm sure there are a lot more things which he adds uh, because ultimately it it's his uh, it, it's his flair and his unique flavor on the piano uh, which which he's obviously bringing out so for you to do that will be tough you can only try or at least i am only trying in this video i'm sure if you learn this maybe you can really sound like the original even further right so anyway you have the verse section which i'm going to do now so let's go through the chords okay so that's line one. Where I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Okay, when I find myself in times. Okay, so that's C major. Start with G C E. That's the second inversion. And then you go to G B D, which is the second chord. Where I find myself in times of trouble. And then we go to A minor. Mother Mary, Mother Mary, Mother Mary. So at the end of Mary or the Re, Mother Mary, you play an A minor and then you add a G as well. Now if you're not confident going to the G bass, that's fine. You can continue to just hold A minor. So then it'll be Mother Mary comes to me. You can go down to F major there. However, what they do in the original is Mother Mary comes to me. So Mother Mary. So what's happening there is the same A minor triad continues. Again, there's A minor, then another A minor, but with a G bass. It's like a passing bass. One and two and three and four. And, and if you read some notation, you basically have one and two and. So it, that A minor over G happens at the end of the beat. One and two and three and four and. So this is even. A minor over F comes to me. 
comes to me Okay let's go over that once more where i find myself in times of trouble that's plain and simple c and g now coming to the mother mary comes to me part mother mary mother mary comes to me so that's a minor continued with an f in the left comes to me and then that e at the top slides down to d come come comes to me comes to me okay that we also call as an f major 6 or an f major with an added 6th okay let's repeat the whole verse c g a minor a minor with g a minor with f and then f add d okay now if you are unclear about playing those chords quickly i would suggest just do c g a minor and f find myself in times of trouble mother mary comes to me and so on and so forth right and then when we go to the speaking words of wisdom you do c g okay so at the fag end of the bar you don't do chords well you could do chords but then what he does is a nice triad uh, dyad kind of part where you have two two notes playing in thirds speaking words of wisdom let it be got that speaking words of wisdom that c major and g just like how you did in the first line let it be let it be got that that's f a e g d f c c e in this interesting rhythm let it be okay Let's do line one and line two again. I find myself in times of trouble. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. And what he also does, sometimes he plays the thirds. Sometimes he just plays the whole chords, which are F major, C with E. d minor and c major It's sort of just going down the c major scale all white notes f major c with e bass d minor and c so pa 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 i've also notated that rhythm pa 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 or if you don't want to do with chords just do the thirds both are used at points in the song okay let's do that again tell from times of trouble mother mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be okay and there's also a nice bass note which he keeps adding an f sharp before the g find myself in times find myself in time So you need to play this F sharp before the onset of the G major chord if you can. If you're struggling, I would avoid it. Myself in times, find myself in times of Got that? Myself in times. Between in and times, you need to play that F sharp bass. Okay? So that's your entire verse on the piano. what he does also uh, with his left hand is he keeps adding this octave of every chord so try to get this rhythm going so first you can do the root note with your pinky do this for all chords myself in times of trouble mother mary comes to me However, whenever you have room for more notes, 
you can play with your thumb at the off beat eighth note find myself in time so with that off beat f sharp myself in times of trouble mother mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be and that's your entire verse which can be used for the intro as well as the guitar solo so now let's do the famous chorus okay where he, i'm i'm just going to play it once with the singing and then i'll tell you the chords let it be let it be let it be let it be there will be an answer let it be okay so the first line of the chorus is quite simple it's an a minor let it be let it be that c major with a g bass right let it be f major let it be c major again let it be let it be let it be let it be right there will be an answer c and g and then you how you ended verse 1 you also end the chorus so it's quite easy the endings of both the verse and the chorus are identical right na 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 let it be f c with e d minor and c it's a very gospel descent b okay whole chorus let it be And also before the chorus, you have a a bass B. So uh, let let's do the end of the verse. Let it. So let it. You do a B. Let it be. And at the word B, you play A minor. At let it, you play the bass note with uh, B. Let it. Let it be. let it be right sometimes they don't play it sometimes they do play it so just be aware that you can go to the chorus by connecting it with that bass b let it be let it be let it be so the the last chord of the verse was c so you can hold c and you can do a b bass because i'm showing it for a bit longer it doesn't sound so nice when you play that chord for a long time but you get the idea right it's to connect to the chorus so it's supposed to provide a sense of tension and then the chorus will have some release let it be a minor let it be let it be that leaves us with one more part which which happens i think once no twice in the song once before the guitar solo and then once at the very end of the song it's played on an electric piano followed by an organ so this is the part and i've written the part down in this uh, purple color they are again what we call as thirds or dyads so f with a e with g d with f c with e b flat with d a with c g with b f with a e with g so it's essentially going down a, a series of thirds try to watch my fingering okay And another thing I've written in the yellow colors, you can ring the C for the first four. That sounds quite nice. Makes it quite gospel. So just ring the C throughout, and then you play the normal thirds. But what I like to do. is just to play full chords which i've written down in black color b flat 
F with A, G, F, and C. So let's do that whole thing. This is the simple version you could say with just the dyads or the th third notes. And my bass is playing what's written in the red color. And just note that it's long short, long short, long, long, long. So just look out for the short changes between the notes. And the bass is pretty much the same as the right hand or rather it's copying the lower note of the right hand. So let's see how that sounds. Again. With a little bit of spice by adding the ring. And that's pretty much the song. So I would suggest that you um, write down all the sections of, of the song as they come in a nice timeline, like intro, then verse. There's no pre chorus, it just goes to the chorus direct, right? So intro, verse, chorus, then a verse comes back again, I guess. Okay, now I'm confused. So I, I think that's your job for now. So uh, all the sections are pretty much here. And like I said, if you want to simplify it, just do C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F, C. And that could be the progression for the song. But since it's a very piano centric song, I would advise you to learn uh, all the stuff which I've tried to talk about in this lesson. And I'm sure it will hold you in good stead for things to come in the future. And whenever you learn a Beatles song, you can always learn a lot of music through the song, not just to become a piano player. So a lot of these things will be used and are also very good songwriting tools. So you can use them with a lot of other songs and perhaps it will also help you with your own composition journey along the way. All the best playing this song. Cheers.